to divide a problem like number eight, you start off like you do all division problems and you try to see what three can fit into. Can three go into nine? Yes, yeah, so we're starting there. Three goes into nine three times evenly, and then you just have to bring up your zero. For number nine, 40 cannot go into one, it cannot go into 16, but it can go into 160. To help us divide 40 into 160, we'll use the crutch, and we'll ask ourselves, well, how many times does four go into 16? Since four goes into 16 four times evenly, 40 would go into 160 four times evenly. For number 13, 60 cannot go into three, into 30, but it can go into 300. The crutch we would use here to help us would be six into 30. Six goes into 30 five times, so 60 goes into 300 five times. And we would just bring up the extra zero on the end. Number 15, 90 can't go into three or 36, but it can go into 360. Nine into 36 is four, so 90 into 360 would be four. We have two extra zeros on the end to bring up. Now when we're dividing to get exact answers with this long division, we're going to follow the same steps that we've always followed to do long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. We'll start off asking, can 38 go into 8? No, but 38 can go into 83, so we're dividing 38 into 83. Um, to help us tell how many times 38 can go into 83, we're going to use the crutch and figure out how many times 3 goes into 8. 3 goes into 8 two times, so 38 goes into 83 two times. Now we have to multiply 2 times 38. Here's where you can multiply it right here in the problem diagonally. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Or if you prefer, you go to your scratch work area and multiply 38 times 2, which of course will give you the same answer. And then you just bring the 76 over and line it up under the 83. And then we subtract that. We get a remainder of 7. 7 is less than 38, so we can bring down the 1. Now we're ready to divide 38 into 71, which um, if we use the crutch would be 3 into 7. 3 into 7 goes 2 times. But we just multiplied three to 2 times 38 and we got 76, which is too big. We can't take 76 from 71. When that happens, we'll simply erase the 76 and the 2 and know that you have to change it to a lower number because 76 was too big. So we'll go down to 1. 1 times 38 is 38. We'll subtract. We get a remainder of 33. 33 is less than 38, so our remainder is 33. To do your check work, you multiply the quotient times the divisor. Then you have to add the remainder in. And this product should match the dividend, and it does. So that problem is correct. Try another one. Can 74 go into 3? No. 35? No, but it can go into 356. The crutch would be 7 into 35. 7 goes into 35 5 times. Now we have to multiply 5 times 74. Once again, you can do your multiplication off on your scratch work area and then just bring that answer over with you. Or you can do the multiplication in the problem. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Now when we try to subtract that, we can't take 370 from 356. So once again, our quotient is too high. The crutch, remember, does not always work. It gives you a place to start, but it might have to be adjusted, as in this case. So we're going to use a 4, and we're going to do 4 times 74. Once again, you can go to your scratch work area and do that, or you can do it right here in the problem and you would get 296, which we can subtract from 356. So we do subtract, I'll show my borrowing there. We subtract and we get 60. We check, is 60 less than 74? Yes, so we can bring down the eight. Now we're dividing 74 into 608. The crutch this time would be seven into 60. Seven goes into 60 eight times. Now we have to multiply eight times 74, which again, Use your scratch work area for those of you who prefer that. 
If not, you multiply in the problem. Either way, you get your answer. And the remainder 16 is less than the divisor 74. So you bring the remainder up and your answer is 48 remainder 16. To do your check work, you multiply the quotient 48 times the divisor 74. And then we add in the remainder. And it matches the dividend. Try one like number 17. It's a little longer dividend, but all that means is we have more digits to bring down, but we keep following the same steps. 54 cannot go into 34, but it can go into 340. Our correct would be 5 into 34. 5 goes into 34 six times. Now we need to multiply 54 times 6. You can take 324 from 340, so we'll subtract. The remainder 16 is less than the divisor 54, so we'll bring down the 7. Now we can divide again. We're dividing 54 into 167. The crutch would be 5 into 16, which goes 3 times. So now we need to multiply 54 times 3. We can subtract 167 minus 162, so we subtract and we get 5. The remainder 5 is less than the divisor 54, so we can bring down the 8. And now we're dividing 54 into 58. Our crutch would be 5 into 5, which goes once. 1 times 54 is 54. And now we get a remainder of 4. There's nothing else to bring down, and so we bring the remainder up. And we check. 631 times 54, quotient times divisor. And then we do have to add in the remainder of 4. And that product does equal the dividend. So that's our final answer, and it's correct.